Karamja Tileman, 1 tile per 1000 XP. With an ultimate goal of completing the elite Karamja Journal, this mission is going to take planning, require adapting to difficult situations, and require a lot of patience. This is Coffee Cake, and this is my Tileman story. If you're new here, I recommend starting out with episode 1, and when you get done with this video, I recommend watching the other great folks making Tileman series, and I've included all of their links in the description below. Welcome back everyone, it's Coffee Cake. It's been a while, but I'm excited to get back into my Karamja Tileman. We're starting off smelting some of that tin and copper from the last episode into bronze. You know, you gotta start somewhere. It's not great XP, but it works and it's getting our smithing up. Gonna be making lots of trips back and forth to this furnace, so I better unlock the fastest route between the two. But this we can unlock from the bank and all the way to the furnace. And definitely can't forget that tile. Now that the bronze is wrapped up, let's get back to coal. I won't make you watch, it was super boring and painful. But I did get 40 mining and now we can mine gold. Finally we get to do stuff. And by that I mean we can unlock an anvil to smith at. We're going to get some planks up here and we're eventually going to get to that general store where we can sell all of our junk. It's a nice convenient loop, it's not much but it's efficient. Definitely going to be making lots of laps since we need a lot of planks for construction and I need to sell stuff for gold and I need to smith all those bars that I made earlier so I'll bring you guys back after I get done with it. On my way back from Port Cass I decided I might as well get some wool and shear some sheep. Wasted a ton of tiles because these sheep didn't want to walk near me. Definitely could have been more efficient if I had wanted to. And this took way longer than it should have, but at least I have all the wool I need for the sheep shear quest in the future. And I even managed to kill a ram on accident, I swear, while doing it. And now I can finally put all that coal to use and make some steel. It's all been a build up for this. Now we have it smelted it all. Why does it take so much time to gather and so little time to use up all these resources? So we might as well make some progress and make some glass. I'll blow it all later. I'll save you the time and just skip to the end. You don't want to watch me walk back and forth. At least I wouldn't want to. And just like that. I've now blown all the pieces of glass. So definitely thought I was recording, but turns out I wasn't. Uh, what you missed is I unlocked the crafting shop, the plank unnoter, the BOH portal in Remington, and I unlocked another patch. Only can use the crafting shop right now though. And finally, I can retire my bronze axe. After 63 levels in wood cutting, I have a steel axe. Better late than never. This really is a big milestone because just like that I have 40 smithing and I can make gold bars. This coupled with my crafting level means I can make sapphire necklaces. Just lacking the magic level in the cosmic rooms to enchant it going to finish up everything here and then I'll bring you guys back. Finally, I'll head back to Port Serum. I was shipped to Karamja from this port and I haven't been back since. I've accomplished a lot and it took many hours to get here.
almost as many hours as it took to sit here and wait for the shopkeeper to wander back to the front door. I wasn't wasting any more tiles here. Now, with a bunch of food items in tow, I'm going to head towards the magic shop. Once I get those runes, we're going to head towards Draenor. Unfortunately, I don't think we have enough tiles to get there, which means I'm going back to grinding. I won't make you watch, just remember I'm saving y'all from that pain. Now let's talk strategy. The Karabja journals require a lot of travel all over the island. As you can see, for the easy journal, the farthest places are Cairn Island and the Joker Pit, the pothole dungeon. The trip into the volcano will be tackled from the Musa Point side as it's closer than the Agility Arena, but I'm also thinking that while I'm in the Joker Pit, I will grab the Clue Hunter leggings as it counts as a warm item for winter Todd, and I'll also grab all the herbs I need for the future quest. That way I don't have to run all the way back there just for those. I also want to make sure that I use the tiles as efficiently as possible and get them as close to the medium journal items that I'm going to need to complete. But I must be back, get back to grinding and stop wasting XP. Until next time, this is Coffee Cake, and I appreciate you watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe, don't forget about my birthday bash giveaway, and join the discord for all the details on that. Alright before y'all leave let's update our progress, there we go. And until next time, this has been Coffee Cake, thanks for watching. <laughs>